What's going on, guys? Boy George 672 coming to you guys with a video right now. So, the Philadelphia Eagles made some moves today, but just band aid moves, which typically I would say that would never happen. But as usual, we are doing nothing as of this embarrassing loss against the Dallas Cowboys. So, Eagles ended up releasing Orlando Skandrick and Akeem Spence. So, a defensive tackle and a cornerback is gone. The Eagles signed from the Raiders practice squad Anthony defensive tackle Anthony Rush and defensive tackle undrafted from the Houston Texans Albert Huggins. Higgins, Huggins, whatever his name is. We are relying on two undrafted practice squad defensive tackles to now start in a in a football game. That's really bad, guys. I don't know why they're being so fucking cheap. But this is bad. I saw Orlando Skander get like released. I was like, okay, cool. Maybe they are they're on to something. Nope. They got rid of him. They got rid of... They made our secondary even worse than it already is and put two undrafted defensive tackles. This is bad. I'm really questioning this front office. Not even just the front office because the next part of this video I want to get to is... The fucking locker room, we're finding out that this locker room is really fucked up. Lane Johnson said that people have been missing practice late to meetings. Everyone's got to be held accountable. Malcolm Jenkins replies to that with Lane Johnson's comments and says that he has no idea what he's talking about. Somebody's lying. And if players are coming to practice late or coming in for video late or doing whatever they're doing not the right way, those guys got to go. And if Malcolm Jenkins or whoever the fuck else is one of those guys, he needs to go. I don't care how good a player is, but if they can't go by what the coach and the front office are telling them what to do to prepare for games and they're late all the time or they're not showing up to practice or they're late for whatever the hell it is. If this is what Lane and Lane Johnson never lies. He's pretty straight up. It's pretty damn straight up. So at this point, I can believe that that's happening. There's something going on in this locker room, but you know what this goes on? This goes on Doug Peterson. This is all on Doug. You got four hard games coming up, and you have all you did was release another corner that has been bad. Is even and now our corner position is worse, and you just signed two undrafted free agent. Are two undrafted practice squad defensive tackles, and like that's okay. That makes no sense, but I'm really confused. I feel like the team's given up. Doug, Doug thinks this team's not done yet. Doug thinks that there's coming back from this. Our our team is resilient, but our team ended up after that Vikings game. There was no fight in this team anymore. After that Vikings game, I didn't see fight in this team. During From that Vikings game on, haven't seen fight from them. And Doug says that we're not out yet. Come on now. It's over. Or close to be, because I don't see them winning the next four games. From what, they're, what moves they're making? <laughs> from what moves they're making, do you honestly think that... What are they doing? What are they doing? This team is known for being aggressive. Not just with not just with like trades, but the locker room has always been good. And this locker room has been fucked up since Chip Kelly was here. And what happened after the Super Bowl? I I'm not saying this is gonna go on for much longer. Like, you know, it's either gonna happen the rest of this year and Guys are going to end up getting fired or they're going... I think that guys need to get fired. Yeah, I think we need a new fucking... I think we need a new OC in the building. You know, Frank Reich was a huge loss. 
He was a huge loss. Eagles need to bring in another OC because Mike Grow is not cutting it for me. Corey Unlin, the cornerbacks coach, cut his ass out of here too. Doug Peterson needs to get his shit together with this team. So that's all I really got to say. These signings are like, who cares? Buffalo Bills have weapons on both sides of the ball. We we have weapons, but unfortunately we just can't use them because we don't know how to throw the ball and we don't know how to protect and we don't know how to really throw the ball downfield. We don't, we don't know how to do everything. We just forgot how to play football since a few weeks ago. So I don't know what else to say about it because I'm not going to be raging and I'm, I'm done with that. I'm going to say, oh, we lost another game and that's it. I'm not going to rage over a fucking game. I didn't rage over the Cowboys game because I knew we were going to lose that fucking game. I had a feeling. I said, as soon as we had those two fumbles in the beginning, we lost. And I, what did I say before the fucking Cowboys game, my preview video? I told you guys the only the only way the Eagles are going to lose if the Eagles shoot themselves in the foot. And that's what they fucking did. But you want to fucking get rid of guys acting like, oh, and put it on the media like something's going to happen, and then you fucking, you you sign two undrafted practice squad defensive tackles. I don't even give a fuck what their names are. I don't care what schools they went to. I don't even give a shit. But make this fucking team better. The, the trade deadline's in next week. If the Eagles don't make a trade by next week, and I don't even know at this point because... If the Eagles can manage, if the Eagles can manage to win the next, you know, two games at least, and stay ahead, keep your head above water. Which the way it's going, I don't think they will because our secondary needs fucking help. Like it's not even just our secondary; the whole team is falling apart. The whole team is falling down. And if you see that happening, then there's a locker room problem, and Doug is going to get the blame for it because. You don't want players giving up on their coach, which I don't think that's happening, really. I just think there's issues because both sides are not working. Because we're getting burned every damn play. and It's because this offense can't get it going. We can't rely on the defense to make stops. We can't rely on the offense now to fucking do anything. It is what it is, but it ain't looking good. We'll see. But that's all I got to say, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys like. I'll see you guys later. Shake squad up, fly, let's fly.